Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be a very quick video on a cool trick that I have found that works really well for me for how I store my slings on my defensive firearms. Before we get this video started though, I just wanted to let you guys know that we do have a Firearm Freedom merchandise store. The link for that is down in the description below and anything you purchase off of that Firearm Freedom merchandise store greatly supports what I do here on Firearm Freedom. On top of that, if you're enjoying the content that's coming out here on the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting every single month. This sling trick is really commonly known information. It's been spread by a bunch of other larger YouTubers, and I believe it's actually promoted directly by Blue Force Gear and the Vickers Tactical Sling, so I am definitely not the person that made up this technique. I recently picked it up and I've really enjoyed it. I actually posted a photo of all of these firearms that you see here in front of you on the Firearm Freedom Instagram and Facebook and Twitter account, and I had a ton of questions of people asking me how to do that, how it's properly set up, how to use that method, and so on. So that's really where this video came from. As you can see here, I have a bunch of different guns on the table in front of us, and then on top of that, I actually also have a bunch of different slings to show you that you definitely don't have to have just one specific sling for this to work. However, there are some requirements. You are going to want a quickly adjustable two-point sling. This is not something that you're going to be using for a one-point sling. I originally used to use ranger bands, and I would tie the ranger band on the end of my brace or a stock or another option on the end of, say, my AR, and the ranger bands worked great. They are somewhat quickly deployable so you just rip your sling out of the ranger band and it gets it out of the way in storage but without fail the ranger band would kind of get in the way somehow or another i would either have a hard time getting my sling out it would get caught on one of the adjustment buckles or something like that or I would have to keep my sling in a very specific position in order to get that ranger band to work properly. Let's get into first how you actually do this to your rifle and your two-point sling. So we're gonna start off with my Troy home defense rifle here and the standard Blue Force Gear Vickers sling. I originally had the back of this sling actually looped around the stock here in this position using the sling loop section that is on this Magpul SL stock. This this method really is ideal for a QD attachment point system right here. However, you can still just use the standard loop on the Vickers sling by simply putting it through the bottom of this SL stock, and that's how it worked best for me. So you're going to start off with your sling here, and it really is kind of laughably simple. So you're going to take up a lot of the slack and fully loosen your sling into the loosest position that it possibly has, and just simply wrap it around the back of the stock. So you'll notice here, I'm just wrapping it around and that's gonna give me a lot of extra slack on the opposite side. So I'm gonna wrap it around, turn the rifle to the opposite side, and then I'm just simply going to attach it onto the pistol grip. So once you get it onto the pistol grip, that is how easy this setup is. You are good to go. Now, obviously this is still very, very loose in this position and we're gonna wanna tighten it up, especially to put it in storage in the safe or beside the bed or whatever else. So you're gonna take your quick adjustment and just simply give it a nice pull, tighten it down as much as you possibly can. You can see the whole sling is gonna shift a little bit. You might need to do just a little bit of readjusting back here. You can see in my case, I have the buckle kind of in a bad position, but that can be readjusted. It's not the end of the world. Make sure it's super tight and then you are good to go. Now, what this allows you to do is have your sling completely out of the way. I mean, if you look at that, there's absolutely no side profile on the left or right hand side of the sling, which is awesome. You don't have to have a ranger band. And then on top of that, I can still very easily get to my pistol grip and use the rifle or pistol, whatever you have this sling on, perfectly fine with that pistol grip and then deploy the sling into action as soon as I have a moment to do that. Now, how to deploy it out of this position, give it a nice short but firm hit downwards. That is going to unlock 
and that's gonna give you your standard two-point sling to either throw in the two-point position, leave hanging down, or whatever else. Now, keep in mind, some pistol grips, you'll notice I had to give it a couple more hits with this BCM pistol grip because there's a pretty firm lip at the bottom there that's gonna catch your hand. I love this pistol grip. However, you might have to give it an extra hit or two to get this sling moving properly past it. Now, another final point on the how-to with this sling is just simply having your stock in the lowest collapse position. I'm sure you might be able to get away with it in a standard position. However, with that being said, you're really gonna have to do some adjustments to your sling. And remember, if you're adjusting your sling entirely just to get it to fit into this position, it is probably not going to fit when you now have to use it and you get it out of that position. Now, as another example on this Ruger AR556 here, you'll notice this is the Blue Force Gear Vickers sling but the difference is it is the padded version. We have no difference here. It is going to be the exact same method wrapped around the stock and the pistol grip, and you just have a little bit of padding down here, and that's just fine. It works perfectly fine. So I've had great success with using it with the padded Vickers Blue Force Gear Sling and also the standard. I've also had success using the Ferro Concept Sling, and this is also a quickly adjustable sling. And again, the method is the exact same, even using the SBA3 pistol stabilizing brace on the back here. We have a slight amount of padding with the Magpul grip, but that is not a problem at all. You can see I can still very easily access my pistol grip with no problems at all from either the right or left-hand side, again, with no problems, which is pretty freaking cool. And the final test bed that I used was my CZ Scorpion, and I actually used the Magpul MS3 sling. I do have a QD sling swivel up at the front, and I actually do not have the extra piece in the back to allow you to make it into a single point. I just actually cut that off and put in the clip in that position instead. Now, I will say it was definitely a reach to get up to the Scorpion pistol grip using the SBT Evo stabilizing brace in the back here. This is a longer length of pull brace. It is side folding, but again, I really had to reach and adjust the sling a little bit. You'll notice that although this Magpul sling is very quickly adjustable, I actually had to adjust it to the point where the quick adjust was on the opposite side. Now, I didn't have any issues at all with this being too long, but I would definitely, once again, recommend trying out a couple different options, deploying it out into the standard position, and seeing what works for you. But ultimately, this is a pretty cool method that works on a bunch of different guns with a bunch of different slings that allows you to keep your sling very close to your rifle or pistol in a very concealed fashion so that way it's not getting bundled up especially going into the safe and pulling your guns out of the safe all of you guys know that have a little bit of a larger gun collection have probably experienced putting a gun in the sling getting caught on the bottom of another pistol grip and pulling like four or five other guns out with it it's not a great situation so this really does a good job of alleviating that and that is pretty much gonna wrap this video up, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions about this video or anything else on the channel, hit me up down in the comment section and you guys know I absolutely will get back to you. While you're down there, head down to the description and also check out the links to the Firearm Freedom Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account where we do daily posts that you guys are not going to wanna miss. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.